What is going on, everybody? It is Tree from Tree Talks here for another episode of. Oh wait, this isn't about <laughs> football. Not this episode. Today is a big day in the life of Tree. Today is March 9th, two thousand eighteen, which marks four years that I've been with this beautiful lady right here. <laughs> uh, I can't say enough about what she has done for me in my life, and uh, just you know, overall being a great supporter, great girlfriend. Uh, her family's great. Love to be around them. Uh, everything about her is amazing. Now, just a little tiny bit of background. I'm not gonna be a whole sap. <laughs> I'm not gonna be sappy this whole video. I'm not gonna, you know, be like, "Oh, you are the love of my life." <laughs> you know, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do things like that. That's about as sappy. Uh, at the beginning, is about as sappy and cheesy as I'm gonna get. So, a little background on mine and Bailey's relationship. I've actually known Bailey since about third or fourth grade. <laughs> Where we live, we live in a regularly moderate-sized town here in Idaho. We live in Lewiston, Idaho, where, uh, you know, you go to, like, the same elementary schools, you know, and then you guys go to the same middle schools, high schools, you know, they all combine and whatnot. Uh, I've known Bailey since about the third grade. I've had a crush on her, actually, since about the fourth grade. As a matter of fact, she's not going to like that I'm going to tell a story, but I'm going to tell it anyway. No! So... Here's the story. As the story goes, quit moving everything. You keep, oh, you keep sorry, on hitting. Sorry. Yeah, jeez. As you can tell, it's going to be very unedited. You know, yeah. just everything straightforward. Speaking from the heart, as uh, people like to say. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so in the fourth grade, as history tells it, I messaged. This is I had a Facebook in the fourth grade, which is crazy to me. I don't me. know if I did. Yeah, you did, because I messaged you on Facebook. Oh, yeah, you did. <laughs> She, okay. doesn't, she doesn't even know what the story is. <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> so in the fourth grade, I hit her up, and she said, I go, you know, fourth grade, you know, sliding into her DMs in about 2008. <laughs> she, she goes, I go, hey, do you want to be my girlfriend? I'm not even kidding you. Her response was, you? With at least 19 Ws. <laughs> at least 19 Ws. Followed by, a no. <laughs> Knew I crushed my little heart, you know, the love of my life didn't want to be with me. Hell no. <laughs> and then we got into middle school, and here in Lewiston, uh, our junior high goes 7th, 8th, and ninth grade. So in the ninth grade, me and her had the same <laughs> PE class, and you know, I'm like, man, it's been like five years since I shot my shot, I might as well <laughs> shoot again. And you know, uh, we'd, have these, we'd have these lines or whatever. Where you would do uh, your stretches and stuff. Bailey stood right in front of me. You know, she'd bend over, touch her toes, and I'd be like, "Holy moly, that's oh, a whatever. woman!" <laughs> <laughs> and and you know, I ended up messaging her. Uh, I just actually got out of a relationship when I messaged her uh, four years ago. It's crazy that I even had other relationships, but you know. And then I messaged her, and in, as a matter of fact, the first thing I ever said to her was, "Bailey's a faggot." Yeah, that's true. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Okay, uh, if. That I, that's not offensive. I apologize if you take offense to that. I'm not, not trying to offend anybody. But, yeah, I was like, <laughs> Bailey's a faggot. That was the first thing I said to her. And, you know, we hit it off. And, you know, towards down the line, I was like, hey, do you want to hang out? Do you maybe want to be my girlfriend? And, you know, she's like, that depends on one thing. And, you know, me, I'm shaking in my boots. I'm like, what do I have to do? What do I have to do to get her? And she's like, if you can sit there and watch Disney movies with me. And I'm like... Oh, yeah, I can do that. I, I usually... love Disney movies. A little fact about Bailey. Loves yes, Disney movies. I do. Um, and then, usually I fall asleep during the Disney movies. He does. But that's okay. Uh, and, you know, as they say, the rest is history. I've been to every single dance with her. And I started high school with her. And I finished high school with her. Uh, so what's it like to be with Treeb for the last four years? Great. Oh, wow, you really feel. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's definitely been like ups and downs between our relationship, and a lot of people get into it when they really shouldn't. But you know, I think, I mean, if you're with somebody and you really love them, then it's like an unconditional love kind of thing. So, it was great. This intro is already kind of ran long, so you yeah. know it's. It's going to be a long video, but, you know, we're having fun. Hopefully you guys enjoy watching it. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so here's what we are going to do today, the four-year special for my for me and Bailey. We're going to have a little competition, you know, me and her, both very competitive people. I played oh, yeah. football and wrestled in high school. She was a cheerleader all four years. 
varsity cheerleader all of her years too that's yeah that's a woman now <laughs> now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be asking each other 10 questions about each other and we have a tally sheet over there yeah, on do. some sticky notes so she's going Treve to and beige Treve and beige of course and we are going to be uh she's gonna ask me questions about her and i'm asking questions about me uh, we tried to make it as hard as possible. Obviously, if you've been together for four years, you know you know a thing or two about the yeah. other person. So we were really trying to make it hard. This video is probably going to run around 20 minutes, so hopefully you guys enjoy. Thank you guys. <laughs> so let's get right on into it okay. with the first question. So here in the first round, uh, I'm going to ask her my first question first. I tried to uh, make it easy in the beginning. And of course, you know, get harder as it goes on so I can win. So Whatever. the first question of the life of Treeb oh. is who is my favorite basketball player? <laughs> this, is, this isn't even hard. <laughs> Four years, man. We might end today. I don't know. LeBron James. <laughs> and see, in that instance, she will not get a point because Damn. LeBron James is not my favorite basketball player. When I, when I tell you you don't have to give me a point. We're just going to get like right right and wrong points. Okay. Okay. So, my favorite basketball player, if you don't know, and she's going to kick herself because she's going to realize who it is, is Carmelo Anthony. Oh, my God. Car Carmelo Dang Anthony it. is my dog. So, Ugh. Bailey does not get a point for that. Now she has to ask me her question. I'm a little nervous. So. Okay. <sighs> um, What are my two favorite movies? Is it the one that you've been watching recently? Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't know what it's called, though. It's like a weird... I've said it a million times. <sighs> okay, I know. Is one of them uh, Step Brothers? No. <laughs> Damn, son. <laughs> we don't ever talk. Um, <laughs> God, we're going to start off with two L's here. I know. Um, God. Nothing but laughs from this relationship <laughs> nothing but chuckles and cackles yeah. uh, uh it's not step brothers um you got 10 seconds 10 seconds there's a time limit okay um <laughs> i'm gonna go with um ben oh, is that a disney movie no <laughs> nine oh eight oh man um seven six ace ventura what? Five. What? Pet detective. Four. Oh. <laughs> oh, Three. Fuck. Two. One. Oh, God. What was it? What? Two Wong Fu. Thanks for everything. That's okay. See, I knew that one, so I'm, I'm giving myself no. a half a point. No. And Bad Boys 2. You don't like Bad Boys 1 more? Bad Boys 2? I like Bad Boys 2 better than Bad Boys 1. Oh, sorry. Okay, you're fine. So, uh,. <laughs> Yeah, we're Truman gonna, does not get a point. We both start off with L's <laughs> on that one. So. Okay, question number dos. I took Spanish. So, not, not, not good at it. <laughs> not, not a lot of Spanish. And, but, all right. This one's easy. Um, she should get a point after this one. This one's easier than the first one. Who is my favorite Jacksonville Jaguars player? Blake Bortles. Yes. And as you can tell, uh, we're going to have to move the... Like Bortles brand right there, just uh, got that shirt in today. Uh, I'll give the the guy that are was selling these shirts. I'll uh, put his Twitter in the description. Go give him a follow. Dope shirts, I love them. Okay, Ooh, got chicken head. Okay, who? What's your second question? Um, what's my favorite food? What do I absolutely love? You know. Come these on. these generic questions are awful because she, because 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 she loves food, so so you know it's like a favorite food for her is hard because <laughs> you're t you're telling me we go out to eat a lot oh, no, yeah. a lot Applebee's number one <laughs> number one thing and I'm gonna I'm gonna guess right I'm gonna guess I'm gonna guess you gotta joke about it. Was that a joke about yes, it? What is the thing that I absolutely love? We made a joke about it, remember? How long ago? Uh, not long ago. <laughs> Damn it. The tree is about to be down fucking one oh boys. I'm going to take a shot in the dark because I know you like this. I know it's one of your favorite foods. For sure. 
I'm gonna go with uh, chicken alfredo pasta. No. Oh. <laughs> no. No. What was it? You're done. Scallop potatoes. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh. You, that is such a classic joke, guys. You don't yes. even understand. See, but like that's just like you forgetting Carmelo Anthony is my favorite basketball player. Oh. Because because no. <laughs> he no. the same thing. No. That is not the same thing. <laughs> okay. Uh, we are currently down one I'm to zero. Winning. I know you guys probably are cheering for her anyway because she's a pretty lady, but... I love you. All right. <laughs> Corny eyes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going on to question three. All right, we're on here. Question number three. And, uh... Toi. She took French. So, um... Uh, <laughs> not good. But, uh... This one, you know, might surprise her. Might, like, be like, oh, I didn't know that. But it's a question about her, actually. So, my number three question is, is what is the most annoying thing you do to me? Ooh. Actually, actually, let me rephrase Wait. that. What's, what do you do that annoys me? Um. And, like, I'll tell you guys a little story after. It's ridiculous. But it, I'm not embarrassing. But it's um. Okay. I. Um. Nine. I leave unfinished drinks. Oh, that, is a, that is a good one. That is a good one. She doesn't do that a lot. That annoys me, but that's um, all right. I'll give you six more seconds. Six, five, um, four. Okay, you can't do that. You're pressuring me. <laughs> three. Um, you make you get two, my plate into the kitchen. No, I do do that though. One. One more guess. Uh, I mess up your sheets. Okay, and um <laughs> Okay, we Damn have it. we have fun. Um the thing she does that annoys me the most is she burps like a dude. Oh. She 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 burps more than any person I have met in my entire that life. That is true. So, that is so true. So Bailey does not get a point. And you know, Dang I it. I really thought this was gonna be a close race, like you know, like eight to ten, but you know, now it's like fuck we the winner might just have like two points. God dang. <laughs> Alright, hit me in with your question. Uh, I don't get a point memory because oh, I didn't yeah. answer it yet. God, it's Sorry. Already, it's already messing up. Hey, that is true, though, because I even burp when I chew gum. That's the, weird. The more you know about uh, Miss Bailey. Okay. She had hers at bullet points. She's all neat. College girl. Uh, How many pets do I have? <sighs> okay. This is something also you guys don't know. She has an animal farm at her house. Uh, You know, shout out. <laughs> God. <laughs> Love their dogs and cats to death. So I'm gonna go. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna say them out loud. <laughs> Keystone, <laughs> <laughs> Rusty, Coon, um, CC, Kitty, Damien. Um, oh, frick, Damien. Um, hey, you have that black cat. I'm not even gonna say names because you have that black cat. I can't think of its name. And then you have that other cat. I can't think of his name either. You gotta name the names. No, that's not what you asked. Oh. You asked how many animals you had. Okay, whatever. Okay. And let's see, I'm looking at all the cats. I think all the dogs, because the dogs are easy. She just has like random felines running everywhere. <laughs> um you know what? I'm gonna oh, God. Final answer? Oh, are I... you ringing the buzzer? <laughs> okay, uh <laughs> I think this answer is right, but I, I may have overcounted. I'm going to go with eight. That is correct. Hell yeah. We're on the board, boys. One to one. I was going to say nine. But yeah, she has uh, four cats and four dogs? Three dogs. Three dogs. How does that? How's four, that? So five, five six, cats. Six. Five cats. And five three, cats and three dogs. Five cats and three dogs. And uh, we're going to actually take one with us once we move out. Her name's Kitty. And Keystone. Oh, yeah, and Keystone the dog, like the beer, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it legit is. <laughs> so we're going to go on to question number four. Alrighty, question number four. This is already running pretty long. Have you guys stuck around? Sorry. It's because we're hilarious. Yeah, and we're, we're great. pretty funny. <laughs> we're the best. Alrighty, question number four. Like I said earlier, I'm a wrestler. What weight class did I wrestle at my senior year? Oh. Y'all are going to figure out how fat I am, too, after she answers this question. 
195. Get a point. Yes! 195 uh, wrestled for my senior year in state and my junior year as well. So, there's that. That's question number four for you. Yay! Um, how many years did I do cheer? Okay, so... Six. Final answer? Why are you looking at me like that like it's wrong? Because it's definitely not. Because, I mean, you got... 7th grade, 8th grade, ninth grade, 10th grade, 11th grade, unless you're counting drill team. No. Okay, then 6. 6 final answers. No. Yeah. Honey, we don't do cheer in 7th grade. 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th. Yeah, you did. 12th. No. Yeah, you did. Uh-uh, not in 7th grade. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. You I've, can't cheer in 7th grade. I promise you there is a Trevin, cheer Trevin, I literally grade. tried out. And you didn't make the cut. <laughs> No, I didn't. Oh my gosh, I hate him. <laughs> no, but you definitely cheered. No, in seventh Trevin, grade. I didn't because they don't do cheer in the seventh grade. Okay. We, I had to cheer okay. out in the summer. Okay. For eighth grade. Okay, we're gonna review the tape because I know that's wrong. That is not wrong. That is wrong because you're. Oh God, that's wrong. Everybody's got, gonna be cheering on me because I'm right. I gotta, I got chewed out of that one. All right, question number five. Halfway through now. All right. After further review, we picked up the yearbook. And I hate to say it, but she was right. There was no seventh because I when I played seventh grade football, I swear to God there were cheerleaders. I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> I swear to God, because you know I just always remember uh, like like the sack cheers, you know. Uh huh. Okay. Anyway. That was eighth grade. Nonetheless, <coughs> shut up. Number five. This one. This one's a little hard. It's almost kind of like her f- her favorite movie question because there's because <laughs> there's so many of them. Oh no. But there's only. Oh no! It's one, and I still kind of got to think and oh, make no. sure that this is my confirmed number one. Oh no! Who's my favorite rapper? Oh no! Oh no! Big hip hop guy, big rap guy. Oh no! This is hard. This is hard. Oh no! There's so many. It's like how there's so many movies you like, but you want to play this game. Twenty One Savage. Final answer? Lil Yachty? Final answer? <laughs> 21 Savage, final answer. And she would be wrong. <laughs> my favorite rapper for all y'all that don't know, and uh, you know, hate on me in comments if you want, Lil Yachty is my favorite rapper. Oh my fuck! <laughs> Are you serious? Lil Yachty is my favorite rapper. <laughs> Damn it. And, my, like, number two behind him, she didn't even guess number two either. 21 Savage is probably, like, three or four. Number two, probably Russ. Russ is probably my second favorite rapper. You don't listen to Russ. Yes, I do. <laughs> I listen to Russ. No, I, doesn't. I listen to Russ more than she does. She knows, pull the trigger, what they want, and that's it. So, no. you know, she's a bandwagon Russ fan. And, no. And little, little, uh. Little, I don't really like Russ. Little. Side note here, uh, for our four-year anniversary, we're actually going to Seattle, Washington to go see Post Malone and 21 Savage live in concert. So that's pretty neat. A little side note for you guys. So did you give me a point? No. Oh, yeah, because I didn't get... Okay. Ha ha. Forgot. Okay. My question. Hey, you can't see. I didn't see. You cheated. I didn't look. How many birthmarks do I have? What the fuck? <laughs> my language but oh i'm a sailor on this so you, sorry guys you, you have birthmarks <laughs> <laughs> yes I, i've never seen her naked i'm a son of god so <laughs> two final answer final answer wrong oh <laughs> we do have one <laughs> Okay, I know about the one. I don't even. I fucking. I knew about the. Why didn't the, you say one? Because I, I thought there might have been more. Because <laughs> no. why would you ask me? God, we are on question five, ladies and gentlemen. And you know, the more and more this video goes on, the more and more, you know, you get to learn about your love. You know, there's always, there's always more you can learn. Yes, always. And you know, I learned that she's a big burper. It's annoying. He's annoying too, But she's though. the best. So, as this game proves, you don't actually always you know learn. every... You learn new things every single day, yeah. guys. Yeah. We're literally just... What he said. Corny white people. That's all right. Okay, we're, go- we're going into question number six. 
All right, and since we just passed the midway point, whoosh, I'm going to send it over to her. You ask your question first. Ooh, so. yay. Hold on. Okay. What did I have a collection of when I was younger? See, this could be two things. And one of them, you're either going to laugh because, like, you never actually said this, or, like, it, <laughs> it, might, it might just be my It's either <laughs> I don't even want to say it because I don't even think it's right, so... I'm going to say it's Cabbage Patch Kids, baby. <laughs> no. Okay. Okay. Oh. Oh. I know this. Give me a point. She collected babies. Like. Like. What? Okay. Th th that's, that's my final. Because that is. Okay. That is true also. Even though, okay. I played with babies when I was younger, but that's not what I collected. Okay. I'm going to go with my second guess. I'm going to go with rocks. Correct. Okay. There we go. Got on the second go around. I thought for sure it was babies because, you no. know, that was just a big thing with her. She was really into playing with babies when she was younger. Yeah. And he was into playing with uh, wrestling Dude, figurines. Still am. WWE pro wrestling pro things. Pro wrestling's the best. I'm actually thinking of uh, doing some more pro wrestling talks on this channel. So if you're this far into this video and you think I should do that, leave it in the comment down below. <laughs> All right. You go to the next question. Oh, yeah. Me oh, again? oh, oh! Sorry, I forgot to cut. This is yeah. this, <laughs> this is behind the scenes, you know, unedited raw, raw stuff. So now you know that we've been cutting this whole time. And so in cares. What does that even mean? <laughs> <laughs> they're in the WWE. They're That's, my favorite. They're not even a tag team anymore. And Enzo's released and Cass is injured. But sorry to poop on your thing. So yeah, uh, yeah, we're gonna go to question six. Alrighty, we're back. Bailey's gonna give me her another her question number seven. So, what you got? Um, when did I get glasses? Ooh, see, I feel like you've had glasses for quite a time because I feel like ever since I've had a crush on you, you've had glasses. I've had a crush on you since like fourth grade. So I'm gonna go with the second grade. Final answer. Final answer. Wrongo. It is the fourth grade. That's when I got glasses. Wow. The, the glasses are probably the reason why I fell in love with you in fourth grade. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you're so oh. cheesy. I love oh. it. Oh. oh. Okay. This one. This one could. I just can't believe it's two to two. I know. <laughs> I can't I'm getting competitive. We are literally getting exposed right now on how <laughs> little. We're going to upload it anyways. Fuck it. <laughs> Pardon the language again. Once, once I get like a thousand subscribers and, you know. Thank you guys for subscribing, by the way. Midway plug. But, um, I don't even remember where I was going with that, to be honest. Oh, yeah, once I get 1,000 subscribers, I think once you get paid, you can't cuss as much. So I'm getting all my fucks out of the way now. So, fuck, 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 fuck. Okay. My number seven question to you, and that's a hard one, because, you know, we've had many of these. And it, it may surprise you also, because it's kind of unorthodox, and you probably wouldn't expect it. But what is my favorite moment, favorite memory me you've ever had? It's a broad question. I know. That is a very broad question. It's a very broad question. Um, let me narrow it down. Yeah, sp be specific. Okay, my favorite event. Like, party, vacation. Party and vacation. Let's just go. It's a party or it's a vacation. The best vacation or party. Because um, that's my favorite moment is either a party or a vacation. Uh, going to Oregon. Final answer? Final answer. That is incorrect. I had a blast in Oregon. Don't don't get me wrong. Of course, you know it was an awesome time. Oh, was it New Year's? That is exactly what it was. But you don't get a point since you already said final answer. What the heck? My favorite moment I ever had with her was uh, New Year's this year. Um, <laughs> shout out to all my friends. Of course, uh, I'll give them a shout out now. Mike, Colton, uh, Austin, Barnage, aka Barnage, uh, Bryce, aka Fitz. You know, uh, I have great friends. We all <laughs> we all hung out, all had a good time, and uh, that was like one of the better parties I've been to. And I, I don't know, I just I had a great time. It was yeah, one of the it was best, a good party. Best moments I ever had. Shout out to Mike for that one. Pretty good year. All righty, guys, going into question number eight with the score being two to two. Oh my goodness, who's gonna pull away with the victory? And if no one does, we gotta think of a tiebreaker. We do. So let's hopefully hopefully that doesn't have to happen. I can just get the win. So. All right, guys, it's been a nail-biter. Two to two, Bailey's eighth question. Let's get it on. What do you got? 
How many nieces and nephews do I have? Not with cousins, with my actual relatives. So, with your brother and your sister. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we got... <laughs> giving shout-outs left and right. Okay. okay, we got Grayson. We got Easton. We got Logan. Um, and I've... If your sister watches this, she's going to be mad because I don't know all their names. Okay, and then... <laughs> <laughs> And I think she has three kids. I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with six. Final answer. That's correct. Oh, let's go. Good sorry, job. sorry, Sam. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> all right, my eighth question, and I'm really, really upset because I feel like she's gonna tie it up because it's obvious, and I always point it out to her. So, uh, who's my celebrity crush? Celebrity. Celebrity crush. Not football. Not <laughs> hey hey we call it. Blake Bortles would be my football yeah that's crush. what I was thinking but of celebrity, celebrity celebrity crush if it was man crush Blake Bortles obviously uh oh what's her name what is her name Justina Valentine final answer celebrity the celebrity final answer I got that yes one. that is correct yeah. cor Justina Valentine uh whatever you like to think about her rapping which I don't think is very good per se but i think she's a very good looking woman she's very pretty something about dyed red hair in fact she had dyed red hair one time drove me crazy <laughs> <laughs> so that is my celebrity crush it's a nail biter going down to the last two three questions three. and it's three to three one here we go okay <laughs> <laughs> We're going. Like I said, I don't want any like real edits in here. I might have music in the background. You'll know obviously if you're watching it if I decided to do that. So so you just seen that there. Uh yeah, so a lot of mumbling and a lot of rambling in this video. Yeah. But you know, it happens. I just I kinda wanted to show like the actual relationship that we have because like, with our picks it's obviously gonna be a little bit more edited. And uh, we'll talk more about that towards the end. Anyway, let's get to question number nine. That's the focus of right now. Sorry, I keep getting off topic. Go ahead. Uh, what school did I switch to in fifth grade? Switch to? Yeah. I think I'm going to take the lead because I don't think you'll get my next question right. Oh, no. Centennial Elementary School. That is true. Yep. That is true. Give me a point. Oh, no. Because I don't think you're going to get this one right. Uh... We're going to have a one-point lead heading no! into the final question, boys and girls. I want you to win. <laughs> I want to win. And the ninth question for me is, what is the first concert I ever went to? First concert I've ever been to. It was in the seventh grade. No, it was yeah, seventh grade heading into eighth grade. It was on four twenty actually. And it was in Pullman, Washington. Aww. It's not who you think it is, by the way. So because I'm gonna rule out okay, a little another turn. I've been to like four Tech Nine concerts. It's not that. It's not technology. Yeah, not. I was gonna say that, but I was like, no, he wouldn't have. He wouldn't have put it in there. Yeah, um, it's not tech nine. Can you? What does it start with? I don't even can't give you that. I'm trying to win here. No, I don't want you to win. First concert ever. Is that dog barking back there? <laughs> um. No, I don't want you to win. I'm going to throw a fit. What is it? First concert. Ten, I don't want you to win. Nine. Eight. Seven. <gasps> six. Insane Clown Posse? Final answer. <laughs> it's probably not wrong. It's probably not right. Five. Four. Kendrick Lamar? Final answer. <laughs> I, three, two, uh, one. It's a club <laughs> Final answer? Yes. Okay, uh, that was incorrect. I've never been to an Insane Clown Posse concert, <laughs> nor have I been to a Kendrick Lamar concert. You thought you were going to do it. That's what I thought. You know, I, I like to keep that away from the video. One of, okay, another <laughs> side note about the history of Treats YouTube. One of my most ever viewed videos, uh, like, I, I don't even think she knows it. I had a hundred thousand views on one video one time and it was me talking about uh something about juggalos uh being people and not in a gang or something and it got like 
10,000 dislikes and like 50 likes. Like I just got ambushed and it was bad. But yeah, my first concert I ever been to was Mac Miller. Oh, I went to a Mac Miller I concert in seventh grade. I've been to a Mac Miller, Macklemore, Tech Nine, Tech Nine, Tech Nine, Tech Nine, and Hobson. Oh, uh, Lil Yachty and Migos, and now I'm going to see Kendrick, I mean Kendrick, uh, 21 and Post Malone. So we're heading down to the final question here, and either it's going to be a tiebreaker, we're going to have to figure out in between these breaks uh, what the tiebreaker is going to be, or your boy's going to come out the victor like how I thought it was going to be the whole time. We are in question number 10, and like I said earlier on, earlier on, all of our questions, you know, get harder and harder as they go on and uh number 10 for me is the hardest one of them all yeah and he says that he's never told me so what how's that fair because <laughs> you just gotta think about it use the think how's tank how's that fair use the think tank okay if you're not cheating you're not trying you know you're trying to get the dub here okay so what are you what do you got with your number 10 final question um what do you mean did you not write it down <laughs> no i haven't uh how many years did i have my car have i been driving my car Old Leslie. She she broke down a couple days ago. Yeah, she was in, like, the shop for, like, two weeks. She's at the doctor's. Um, how long have you been driving it? Mm Mm-hmm. Or have had it? 9, 10, 11, 12. Where's it? Oh, where? Fuck. Five years, actually, because we're going to count this year since you had it after senior year. Because I'm going to go five years. That is correct. Oh! Oh, and now that means... There is no possible way Bailey can win this one, which means I am the winner. I hate losing. <laughs> and I am the winner by a score of five to three. However, I'm still going to ask my last question. No. I'm, okay, yeah. Okay. I'll give it a shot. In the, the year was 2007. Okay. <laughs> what was the first ever YouTube video I ever uploaded? I wonder. Okay, if you're watching this and you've actually like, that'd be kind of creepy because like you've been you've been you've been through some stages of me. But if you've been here, this is the first video. That for one, that's freaking insane. I'd love to talk to you. But anyway, what is it? It has to do with something you actually said earlier. Was it about WWE? It might be. It might. It just might be. Is that a yes or no? I, I'll say yes. I'll say yes. I'm not gonna even like. Really? Not even, it's about WWE, and it's yeah. about uh, um, something else you said earlier about WWE. Enzo and Cass? No, no, no. <laughs> oh. Think about when you're talking about your babies. Action figures? Yeah. Really? Yeah. He yeah. never told me that, but I still guessed it right, so. You can give her a point so she only loses five to four. Yeah. So, uh, my first video I actually ever uploaded, this has kind of been a mix of Treeb and Bailey's relationship and Treeb's YouTube history um, was a wrestling class actually I made like a whole I recorded myself uh, playing with my wrestlers actually acting like they were in class (laughs) (laughs) that's cute and my dad actually edited the whole video and uploaded it to YouTube it was pretty neat and yeah that was my first YouTube video I ever uploaded alrighty guys thank you so much for watching this video especially if you stuck around for the whole thing uh this is really fun to make you know a yeah. uh, great time spending with her I love talking to you guys um on youtube and stuff and uh there's gonna be more content coming out and a uh, little preview for you guys this is not gonna be the last time you'll see this pretty face on this channel it's me sucking up by the way um yeah, <laughs> yeah it's not the last time you're gonna be seeing her on the channel throughout the nfl season we're actually going to be doing Treb and bailey or Treb and beige i don't know what she wants to go by yet uh picks for uh, Stephen Rose uh, weekly picks, and we'll be making a video, and there's going to be a theme every week, whether that be uh, we rep our favorite football teams, for instance, Cincinnati Bengals, you, and then I'm a bandwagoner. I'll just put it out there. And she jumped on a really bad bandwagon. Okay, like, but <laughs> I like you know, the the underdogs. The, you should be a Jags fan, man. Not now because I'm going to be really hopping on the bandwagon. Anyway, we're getting sidetracked. <laughs> so. Uh, if we're gonna like whether that be favorite football team or pajamas or something, you know, or a formal day, yeah, or a formal day or Hawaiian shirts, yeah, you know, things like that. We're gonna make it. It's gonna be fun. We're gonna make it interesting, you know. Make sure you subscribe for that. 
uh, during the season. And I'm going to try and make more vlogging videos because as the off season, you know, grows, you know, it's going to be less and less things to talk about. So I'm going to try and take you guys uh, maybe on a, like a date night with me and Bailey, you know, when we go to the dinner, we go to the movie and uh, maybe uh, take like a little uh, GoPro to go see what I do when I go play football with the homies. You know, uh, I'm really just trying to put things out there. So if you have any video suggestions, football or non-football related, leave them down below. I'm also doing uh, Trebe's top five for every single football team's top five players of each season. We're going to try and put those out every Friday. I was going to, the first episode was supposed to be quit. <laughs> the first episode was supposed to be uh, this Friday, but I, I <laughs> forgot that it was our four years this Friday. So I thought I uh, better put out a video with her and uh all that good stuff, you know. Uh, like I said, very fun video to make. Had a very good time. She's weird. I'm <laughs> sorry. But, um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, the support. Don't forget to click the links down below. Uh, follow me on Facebook. I mean, like me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Instagram. All those things. Um, do you want them to follow you on Instagram? Sure. Follow her on Instagram, Bailey underscore 54. Follow me on Instagram at Trayvon Pixley. Like me on Facebook at Trebe Talks. She doesn't have a Facebook page because she's not a YouTube person. And then, <laughs> and then uh, follow me on Twitter at Trevin Pixley. She doesn't have a Twitter either. She's lame. Which I think Twitter's so much better than Facebook. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and one thing I almost pieced out before I showed you Bailey's uh, proud thing that she gave me. Yeah. Uh, senior year she took, mm -hmm. um, what was it called? Ceramics. Ceramics. And uh, she made me a bowl, actually. Yeah. And uh, it's it's a Jaguar bowl right here, made from hand. There's the logo right there. If it's you don't like it, I don't like you. Yeah, if you don't like it, you don't like you. And then, of course, on the back also, it reads, uh, Treeb's, Treeb's Pot. One of the best things she's ever got me. It's and pretty cute. It's pretty cute. She's pretty cute. Everything <laughs> is pretty cute. Thanks guys again so much for watching. Don't forget to check the links down below. Like I said, like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram, follow her on Instagram as well. That link will be down below. I feel like we should kiss. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Happy four years. I love Happy you. Happy four years. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this, click the like button down below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye. See you later.